Module 9, Pedestrian and Bicycle Accommodation. Bicycle and pedestrian facility design is currently undergoing rapid evolution. The material in this module reflects the latest criteria at the time of production, but designers should consult the district bicycle and pedestrian coordinators and the FDM for the latest bicycle and pedestrian practices. Pedestrian design considerations. Wherever possible, sidewalks at roundabouts should be set back from the edge of the circulatory roadway. These landscape strips provide many benefits, including increased comfort for pedestrians, a buffer for the overhang of large vehicles, it discourages pedestrians from cutting to the central island or cutting across the circulatory roadway, and it helps guide pedestrians with vision impairments to the designated crosswalks. Recommended sidewalk width is six feet, five foot minimum, but wider sidewalks may be warranted in areas with heavy pedestrian volumes. Crosswalk markings should be installed on all approaches and walkways through the splitter island should be cut through instead of ramped as shown in the picture below. The minimum width within the pedestrian refuge area is six feet and eight feet desirable at this location, providing enough space for somebody pushing a stroller or a bicyclist to, to sit in this refuge area. The minimum crosswalk width within the splitter island is, is 10 feet. And the location of the pedestrian crossing should be one car length or approximately 20 feet upstream from the yield line. There are a couple crosswalk alignment options shown here. The top one is more of an angled perpendicular type of one and the one on the bottom is a straight through type of design. Uh, the Florida Department of Transportation recommends the angled one uh, which allows for or provides for the shortest crossing distances for pedestrians. Here's an example of that angled or perpendicular pedestrian crosswalk style. And you can see on the, the left here where uh, as it goes through that splitter island, it is kinked a little bit and perpendicular to, to the outside edges of pavement. This one here does show a straight pedestrian type of crossing and a little bit narrower type of a splitter island. So to put in a kink in there wouldn't really be applicable. And it, it de again depends on the, the context or the location of, of where your crossing may be. Pedestrian facilities, the, the DOT policy here, uh, when there are existing or planned pedestrian facilities, the following requirements apply. Sidewalk widths should be provided in accordance with FDM 222 or consistent with the approach sidewalk widths. When bicycle ramps are provided, the desired sidewalk width is 10 feet, but not less than eight feet. And the five foot setback from the back of curb to sidewalk is desired, typically not less than two feet. Wanna provide crosswalks at every approach leg want to provide curb ramps and detectable warning surfaces consistent with FTM 222 and the standard plans index 522-002. Want to orient crosswalks perpendicular to the roadway, provide that minimum six foot width and 10 foot long pedestrian refuge area within the splitter islands. Want to locate the crosswalk 20 feet from the outside edge of the circulatory roadway and provide pedestrian crosswalk lighting in accordance with FDM 231. There are a couple types of traffic control devices that can be used at roundabout crosswalks. The rectangular rapid flashing beacon is a visually enhanced warning device that is activated by the pedestrian and when activated, yellow lights flash. A pedestrian hybrid beacon is also activated by the pedestrian and displays six intervals in a sequence to drivers and pedestrians. Typically, a zigzag crossing is provided in the splitter island when utilizing a pedestrian hybrid beacon, and this offers many benefits, including providing additional storage for vehicles on the exit. Additional information on these traffic control devices and their implementation at roundabouts can be found in NCHRP Research Report 834. Bicycle design considerations. 
A bicyclist approaching a roundabout may merge into the general travel lanes and navigate the roundabout as a vehicle or exit the roadway by way of a ramp and ride on a wide sidewalk. Bicycle lanes should not be provided through the roundabout. Uh, they should be terminated upstream of the entrance line and bicycle ramps are required for multi-lane designs uh, but optional for single lane roundabouts. Where bicycle ramps are provided, the sidewalk width between those ramps is typically 10 feet and eight foot minimum. And here's an example of where a ramp comes on and can, connects with the existing sidewalk and forms that wider sidewalk around the roundabout. This detail is from the FDM exhibit 213-1 and shows bicycle and pedestrian details. When a utility strip of at least three feet is present, uh, the FDM requires the use of the angled bicycle ramp as shown in this detail, and this is figure 213.8.1, and you can see all the different dimensionings and taper rates associated with this detail. So when the sidewalk is adjacent to or very near the back of curb, then you'll want to use this straight bicycle ramp type of design. Want to place directional indicator at the top of the bicycle ramp to provide a tactical cue for visually impaired pedestrians to continue down the sidewalk. Uh, we do not want to place detectable warning surfaces on the bicycle ramp. This uh, exhibit from the developmental standard plans index D528-001 uh, gives inf information for the directional indicator. Here are a couple of pictures of a project with uh, bike ramps and you can see the one on the left is the exit ramp and the skip dash pavement marking prior to to that ramp and then the picture on the right shows the ramp coming back on uh, taking that bicyclist back onto the bike lane on the roadway. And this is a picture of another example and you can see here where the bike lane terminates with the taper of that curb and gutter and leads onto a bike ramp with the wider side rock going around the roundabout. This concludes Module 9, Pedestrian and Bicycle Accommodations.